Hi folks, my name is Tom Peterson. I'm proud to do a video presentation for you today on the 2018 Lance model 1685. It's been out for several years. It's a product that I uh, uh, imagine most of you viewing this video will be familiar with the Lance name. It's a product that they've had building truck campers for many, many years, uh, for approximately 50 years, and the travel trailer end of it, they've been doing now for the last many, uh, probably six years or so, they've been doing the travel trailer side. They build them very much the same as their truck campers. What made them very famous is they build them incredibly strong and ultra light through a series of uh, very expensive um, machines that they use to cut the uh, pieces exactly, put them in like an exact fit puzzle, and that's why they uh, are so light and so strong. Um, and they are also, also a four season coach, which is kind of nice for an ultralight product to be able to be out there in that cold weather um, and handle it so well with things like dual pane windows and such. But we'll start on the inside and we'll finish up on the outside here. As we're on the inside here, we do have a large bed. It's a queen size bed. And you're gonna have a lot of space inside that area for, uh, for being comfortable for two. You're also gonna have behind me here an area that will make in on that booth into a really large uh, additional sleeping bed. And then in the 1685, they have an, an optional setup here where you do have actually storage as well as another sleeper for a smaller person, individual or child. Uh, this will fold down into another sleeping uh, set up as well. So very nice for being able to need to have additional sleeping. You can do that, um, but also very compact and it's still an eight foot wide size and everything, but that slide out is very deep and with the windows all the way around make it very, very well lit. So up in the front up here, you're going to have a front window that's going to be the European style design they have where those are designed to um, open up in two different positions and also they are double glazed, so you do get the insulation value of the double um, panes. And also on the side windows, they're all dual pane windows on those, the glass windows. Um, that are going to be what's called a flush type mount design. So the opening of the windows are going to be kind of nice. I'll show you that here in a bit on the outside. But basically, you've got a lot of windows, lots of light. Again, the additional sleeping. You do have a power fan above here for extra ventilation inside your unit here. And also, storage will be underneath the bed which uh, we can show you how that's kind of going to be looking like. So you'll have some additional storage there. They have the box for the TV, and, but it gives you quite a bit of room underneath the bed there for storage. You're going to have a TV that folds out from the side here, and so that way you would be able to view the TV from the, uh, you know, this air, living, living area here as well, particularly this nice booth and uh, also possibly even some of the kitchen you'll be able to see the tv from there but it's nice also from the bed of course it is an lcdc um, television which will be uh, uh, it'll be a 12 volt battery operated as well so it's nice to have so you have that area the refrigerator is going to be up high so you're not uh, on your knees trying to get uh, milk or anything out it's nice set up nice and high off the ground nor cold adjustable temperatures so you do have that ability to have your milk ice cold or not very nice. Your freezer section above, of course, has a nice uh, lip in here, so it's an upgraded refrigerator uh, over their standard type of uh, uh, Dometic type refrigerator. So, uh, in the going further over towards the kitchen area, you're going to have a nice newer. I like these newer tops on these uh, ovens because they're glass and they're flush. Uh, there's your three burner with a high output burner being up front, but you've got that ability here to have that set out of the way or, or you can use it for additional counter. These smaller travel trailers don't have an awful lot of counter space so it's nice to have that. You're going to have a uh, let's see, striker igniter here for your oven and it's going to be a nice size oven in there too for, for baking in. Your microwave above you're going to have a nice little fan and light above here as well when you're cooking. The cabinets are pretty well known for Lance's, and again, again, their truck camper as well as this product here, is they build a light ply, they make it out of a light ply product which is imported, and it's very, very light layers of wood, and also they can cut it out with their special equipment. They can cut these out of one piece, so you have a real nice uh, design, and again, makes it all stronger the way they attach everything, and not having to put pieces together, it's cut out of one piece of plywood there. So. Very nice features. They come up now with a newer type of uh, hinge, which I like really well to hold that up and out of the way so you can gain access to uh, your 
necessary kitchen things. And here, they had done a round sink design. Now they've gone more with a, a standard type sink design or farm design without a, a separator, but that's a nice big area there to work from. And you have your pull down faucet and your single lever there. There's going to be also some additional storage and some drawers areas here to have that you can take these. It's nice. You can take them out, maybe go inside the home and load up your silverware and whatever you might need to do and put it into here and carry it out in one trip instead of making maybe several trips. Kind of nice idea and it takes weight out, keeps things light. Let's see if I can make sure that I've taken it out and get it back in again. Let's see. There we go. So again, mortise and tenant cabinet joints and everything all throughout, nice hard solid wood cabinets. Very nicely done. If we look in here, we'll kind of go into the uh, bathroom area here. You can see it's gonna have your shower uh, with a nice stand-up height in it, a little curtain around there, and you'll have also a medicine uh, cabinet door there to, for your supplies and a nice large sink and easy access around the toilet and stuff, you know, well lit. Again, they do the walls in here as well with that uh, plywood material, and you can see it's very, very strong. So a lot of times you kind of go into trailers and they're put in with maybe a one inch wall, but they have just basically a piece of ply a piece of wood that might be every, <clears throat> you know, uh, 16 inches or so. It doesn't make it very strong. These are, these are extremely well made and strong, keep everything in line and easy to shut and open. When you look back over here in the main living area in this booth dinette that I mentioned earlier, the table, it's a single leg, leg, or leg on there. You can see if we move the box temporarily here, you'll see it's just one leg that holds that. But with their design, again, you do things right. You know, you can really be quite practical with one. And uh, you're still not getting really any movement out of the table, which is what you want. You want to be able to sit down, have some drinks and all that. And, sit down with several people and be able to be comfortable not find your drink in your lap. So very nice design the way they build this support. Again, the windows uh, around you and all that, they do open on the two, one emergency escape and one on that far side. These here are closed uh, dual pane windows here, nicely um, surrounded with these finishes that they have here for around the windows. And then you're gonna have your nice shade for, uh, uh, for your privacy shade when it comes down. Again, the booth, real nice, comfortable to sit on. They also make these where um, they really use all the space they can <coughs> in a travel trailer. And that's nice that they have a nice, deep, long storage tray that comes out on both sides. And they use a latch now that's designed a compression latch here to keep things from moving. Um, instead of having the, the design before, they had a little pin you put in on one side and people would forget and it would break. And so. Nice idea they've done, gone with this year. So that's nice. Again, that's on both sides. You're also gonna find another nice feature I'll show you when I get outside. They also have an access um, door on the outside of the coach too as well. So that's nice. Inside here, you're gonna have lots of drawers and storage as well. This is gonna be access to your hot water heater. So you can shut that off and control that. It's also gonna have a winterization valve to make it easier when you wanna winterize your unit. We go through a complete orientation showing you how to use everything, of course, when you buy a vehicle like this. And you want to make sure that, uh, you know, all your questions are answered and we give you plenty of time to do that. A nice feature again this year they've done is the soft close on that. You'll notice it makes it nice when you're opening and shutting things that way. You got your storage above for closet as well as a uh, full closet in here uh, too. Very nice. When we go out, on your way out, you'll see there's also some places here to put things, maybe a cell phone or whatever it is, you just some stuff right there and you have keys that you, uh, cooks you have right there as well. Come on out here, I'll show you some of the exterior features. When we look out here, they put one of the strongest ladders I've ever really seen. It's uh, probably quite, quite take quite a capacity because it's a large ladder on there, but you can get in there, go up on top if you ever need to uh, for servicing. We recommend that you be very careful if you ever do get up on a ladder. Uh, Guarantee does two free roof inspections for our customers, whether you buy new or used. So always try to come in there and take, it, take advantage of that. So that way somebody can get up with a cable and inspect your roof safely for you. And uh, we got a hot water heater here. The uh, uh, sides back over here, you're gonna see there's an outside shower. 
hot and cold. You're going to see that you have your uh, black tank flush, which is a nice feature, more common nowadays, to help flush that black tank. Your city water hookup. You're going to have your power supply, and then you got satellite and your park cable as well. Your uh, actually down below, if you look, the camera can show you there. It's got easy pull valves for your dumping too, so it makes it very nice and convenient, easy to get to. You're also going to see power, so those back jacks on there are going to come down by way of push button, which is another nice feature to have. Out here, I mentioned to you before, below that booth, you're going to see a real nice large area for storage. So real popular. With Lance, I like that real well, that they are very small, but they utilize, utilize all their space incredibly well. They even have a little handle kind of here, and it's able to magnetize back so it stays out of the way when you want to load and unload. Same way when we come over here to this side, you'll see some more um, storage that's, that's under the bed storage there. That will go all the way through. I believe also right here, this is going to be uh, for um, your water, for uh, dumping your water tank, I believe, is what that's for. A nice big valve. Makes it quicker and more efficient when you're doing that. You can see the storage here as well. That tray will slide this way, or when I get on the other side, it will slide that way as well. So again, look how much storage there is in a small unit. You find that not that commonly done. This right here is going to be where you'll put the batteries now. So what they do with this company is you've got an area to put your, your batteries here because what they've done up front, where you typically will find that in a travel trader is they've moved it out and now you have room for a third five gallon tank. So now they have standard three five gallon tanks instead of the two fives or two sevens you might find. Fives are really nice and convenient, easy to move around and carry when you want to fill. And also too, uh, a lot of times at homes, you have an RV, uh, like a grill at home for barbecue, and you can use that, uh, those same tanks, so it's nice to have. So you have an access into there, a nice cover that covers it. This right here is a new smart jack, so it's power, of course, 12 volt, but it also has memory features for when you're taking it on, uh, the ve uh, to putting it on the vehicle and taking it off. It's nice to have the memory there, so they've been doing that. It's a new upgrade on the power tongue jack there. This is also a view of seeing that window and the design they have here with this is your, because uh, again, one of the nice features is this window opens. So you not only just get light, but you also get that extra ventilation there too. We come back around, we still have that nice storage coming through here and the slide out tray that we saw on the other side, of course, it'll go either, either direction. So for access to whatever you need, nice to have. These windows on the outside are going to be the frameless window design, which is all current as well. And so you don't necessarily, you don't have all the vinyl seals and everything that can dry out and get to be problematic over the years. So nice newer feature they have. Speakers on the outside, ventilation for that uh, oven and stove top. You're going to have another LED light outside and a place here to hold the TV if you want to bring that out and watch TV on the outside. You'll have some hookups as well here <coughs> for that. And then you see with the way they do the awning now, the awning is larger and it can expand, expand that larger distance and it doesn't have the, uh, the, hor the vertical um, post going up and down and getting in the way of your coach and uh, making more holes and everything. So it's a real nice feature they have there. The uh, uh, window here, they have where this will be for the shade of, um, inside for that window. It's nice to have that feature locks in place in here. So, another nice thing they do. Latch to hold that. Uh, custom wheels they have as well, it's a nice. And they also have Goodyear tires on there too, which are a nice national warranty, just easy to find service if you ever need to down across the country. Also on the uh, side here, they're gonna have an ability that's wired to your 12 volt battery system. So you'll be able to plug in a solar panel if you want to, if you're out dry camping, get the extra power <clears throat> to the energy to those batteries so you can have those lights on more often uh, during the evening hours and dark time. So again, with Lance products and all that, they've been around for uh, over 50 years, I believe now. Guarantee RV centers, we've been around for celebrating our 50th year this year. So uh, I'm proud to be a part of Guarantee for 27, working on my 28th year now. 
Again, it's a great opportunity for you guys. If you're looking at financing, you're looking at getting an RV, the time is now. We have great selection at Guarantee, always have had. And uh, with that great selection and volume that we will deal with, you're able to get some great values and great purchasing uh, power as well for the buyer. If you have any questions, of course, there'll be a video uh, at the end of this. There'll be a phone number for my, for my cell number, 541-521-3642, if you want to call me that way, or the number you see at the end of this video, of course. Again, uh, my name is Tom Peterson, and uh, please give us a call anytime. One of the many salespeople that work for us here would love to answer questions for you. And uh, remember, at Guarantee, every day it's an RV show. Thank you.